Hello, everyone. How you doing? This is Hanan, and you got the Joey good man, Lott. Joey Lott. Hey. Jinx, buy me a Coke. We said your name at the same time. Yeah. So, you know, kind of want to come to you loosey-goosey a little bit. It's like rainy days on, not Monday, Sundays always get you down. So I thought <clears throat> today's topic, we really take a look at, you know, moods, you know, the moods that we go through in life and kind of when we get the downers, right? When things kind of take us down, rating days on Mondays always get me down, right? And then even deeper in that for some of us and at some point for a lot of us or even you right now, depression, right? Where the mood and the downer and the sadness really gets indulged to the point where we're in our mind so deeply that we're deeply depressed. And I'll share a little story with, with you about my experience of that in a moment. But now that we know what the topic's about, I just want to say welcome. Uh, for those of you who don't know about me, my name is Hanan and uh, go by the name Brian Mark Zimberg most of my life. I was born as that's my tribal name there. And I'm the best-selling author of books called Stop, Smile, Breathe, Be, uh, creator and co-founder of Evolutionary Human Development and Access Points of My Life Meditation Plan, which is really a uh, a discovery upon discovery is of this most direct way of getting out of your mind, shifting out of your mind, recognizing meditation is here. And I am a family man, so I'm living in the modern life. And we always want to get that across to people. Same with Joey, right? Joey Lott, author of many books on Amazon. You can check them out. Really clear speaker of awakening. <clears throat> so that's what we want to talk about. <clears throat> Go ahead, Joey. I was saying, the, point, the point is, you know, we're coming together. We're doing all of these... Uh, you know, producing all this content together because we uh, re have realized that there's this really powerful resonance that we want to share. You know, there's a, there's a kind of movement that's happening and we're inviting people to that. We've come together, you know, we've each taught on our own and we've come together. We've had a long standing friendship, but we've come together uh, because we want to share with you really a, a fresh way of looking and seeing and experiencing your life really to know yourself. And so we're looking at all of these different topics through that clarity, that light, right. shining that light on it so that we can all awaken to our true oneself and live from that. And when we do that just by shining the light of clarity, which is the light of, of who you are, it's the light of consciousness. And so as we come together through these meetings, um, that's what we're doing together. And so you can actually just settle in and receive, you know, that's the gift of this is that you don't have to try to understand it, but the real shift is taking place by you receiving, just being yourself. So just settle in for a few minutes. We're gonna have a little bit of fun talking about a subject that for mo most people is not so much fun, right? Because for most of us, feeling like we're in a mood or we're, uh, we're feeling down or we're feeling depressed, that doesn't seem like something enjoyable at all. Most of us don't wanna look at it, right? We just wanna avoid it. But what happens is if we're just trying to avoid it, then we're not seeing clearly what's actually happening. We don't realize the choice that we're making. And for me, that was a that was something that I struggled with for a long time. I had no idea that I was making this choice to struggle, you see, because what what happens is that the moods come and go. The experiences come and go, the sensations come and go, the feelings come and go, the thoughts come and go, the stories come and go. All of everything comes and goes except the clarity, because the clarity is always here. And the clarity is actually who you are, but most of us have overlooked that. And for me, I struggled for such a long time because I thought that I had to solve all these problems. I had to fix it. I had to change the mood, get out of the mood, struggle with the mood, fix the mood. And that, that very much did not work. Not only did it not work, I mean, it was made things way worse, as I'm sure it does for many people. I mean, I see that working with people, communicating with people. I mean, this is a, this is sort of the the human condition for many, 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 many people is that they're struggling. And the opportunity is that you don't actually have to struggle. It's actually possible to just be yourself and to rest in that clarity and to notice that you are always here and that all of that is coming and going. And that's where, for me personally, that's where I found real freedom, real lasting freedom and peace, you know, to shift from a life of struggle and nightmare, really. I mean, I, I was living a nightmare for about 20 years. It was just absolute horror and uh to wake up was not to wake up into some so, some other state it wasn't to enter another state of to shift from being depressed 
uh, the state that I was calling depression to another state. It was to wake up into life, to the to the reality of of who I am, and that's that's possible for everybody. Which so, is Joey, what's maybe maybe um, you can more specifically tell us what is the experience then of living awake compared right. to li living trapped in your mind? Yes. So, so it's not so maybe we get a little crisper for people. Like, what sure. what 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 is your experience of life now? Yeah. Um, Joey, Joey went through OCD and, and, and multiple, you know, anorexia and multiple things through his life that he now they, he's healed from. Yeah. And I think that's, that's a big deal. So since you mentioned it, how, how did that healing occur? You know, yeah. and so it's not just general that comes and goes and you saw like, how did that healing occur? And, and, and what's, what's different now? Like, what is it to live yeah. an awake life for you? Great, great, great. Yeah. Great question. So, so the, the, the experience previously, although I, I, I didn't realize it at the time, but the experience in retrospect that was that I was fixated on the mind and everything that the mind had to say, all the mind's commentary, I believe to be true. So the, the mind is, con I mean, I see this for myself and also for everybody else who I communicate with, the mind's constantly creating boogeymen, right? So I, I would liken it to when I was a child, when I was a young child, I remember in the dark, I would get so afraid of some monster or villain in the dark, lurking in the dark. And I would pull the covers over my head because somehow that gave me this sense of security and safety. But the reality is, of course, if there was really something there, pulling the blanket over my head isn't gonna help. And I think that just generates more anxiety. And that was what my experience of life had become is that everything that happened in my life, I, I felt like there was some, something lurking in the, in, in the, in the, always in the corners, in the shadows behind me, something that was going to get me. I mean, I was, I was living paranoia, constantly afraid because all the sensations that were happening, my mind had a commentary telling me that those sensations were something horrible. They were going to kill me and destroy me and torture me and make me miserable forever and ever and ever and ever and probably kill my family and all my loved ones and destroy everything. And it would just, and, and I, and I think a, a place for people to relate to this in your own life is to really take in. How's, what's the reflection of what he's saying to you, right? You know, you, so, some people have OCD, other people just are bummed out, yeah. right? There, there's a funky mood, right? There's a lot of negative things going on in the world. Yeah. And then are the negative things, our mind turns around and does it to ourselves, right? We have the war inside. And what we're pointing to through all of this is that it's possible to actually you know, we didn't say clearly that what meditation really is is shifting out of your mind, right? Yeah. You can't say it clearer than that. Yeah. So if you shift out of your mind, you no longer believe you yourself to be your mind. Like you all hear, you're not your ego, you're not your mind, but that's not your experience. Right. So to shift to having that experience is to no longer have to be stuck in it. Yep. Yeah. Right. So that mood, that sadness, that depression, right? That angst or even that deep, like existential funk, right? That deep funk. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll go back to Joey and his story, but what I want you